Imagine thousands of people packed in this one open space. The rain, it pours and the wind, it roars and every now and then, in the distance, we hear the sound of war. It's Lebanon, the Baikal Valley to be precise. Half a million people threw the dice, two third of which are little kids that fled their homes in Syria, hoping for a safer spot somewhere in this area. And here they are, away from war, but soaked in disappointment, fenced in by violence, politics and borders, waiting in this muddy pool. I know it seems so pointless. No house, no school, nothing collective, no safe spot, no hope for a better perspective. Lebanon, it's a country no bigger than Luxembourg. And in that small country, more than a million refugees have found a place with their family. And all this makes me think of Farha, a woman I met two years ago. She lives in Lebanon with her four kids, and while the oldest one eats a bag of chips, I ask about her story. And she tells me how she lost her inventory and about her husband she was married to for a year or five and the fact that he got shot in the head in front of her children's eyes. And of all the people that ran from the war, Fortress Europe is less than 5% knocking at their door. And with these few people coming to our place, all we say is we have no space. Then there's this little kid named Ailan drowned to death and lying in the sand, head down when his picture is taken. It's a fact and Europe starts to awaken. But what's this crazy pretension that this little kid gets all the attention while well, he's only one of the 3,000 that drowned to death? If I don't think it's horrible, oh, don't get me wrong, I do. But there's a fact that seems to be true, that it's been bad a long time and a lot of things are going wrong. But this mess is going on for way too long. Truth is, it's been a hell for four years. Now when they're close to our safety, in a place it's safe for us to be, close to our security, when they come to our door and knock, we panic and are in shock, saying we cannot let them in. Scared they'll destroy us from within. But aren't we being just too skeptic? I mean, after all humanity's been through, do we really think this is too much? I mean, we survived the dark ages, world wars, epidemics and such. We learned to fly, build rockets, satellites. We conquered dictators, fought for equality. We went to the moon and did a drive-by. Now you can call me a dreamer if that's what you want, but all the things we've reached started with people that dared to look beyond, beyond the problems, fears and what cannot be done. They had a dream, stood for a vision and saw the things that should be done. And as those people then, I believe we should be like them. Now call me naive or maybe just too simple, but I believe as a unity we can start the effect of a rimple, like a rock in the water, taking it one step farther, a movement that will become effective, giving these people hope for a better perspective. <laughs>